Hi everyone, my name is Irene and welcome to Theo and Olaf. With me is Olaf, our Samoyed puppy. Today we're going to be talking specifically about the Topple Extra Large Size Toy from Westpaw. We did previously review a bunch of their arrangement toys and you can check it out here if you missed it. Um, for those of you who don't know, Westpaw is a company based in Montana and they make really great, really fun colored enrichment toys for your pup. Today we're going to be talking specifically about the new Topple Extra Large Size that came out. We're really excited for these. Um, note that Westpaw uh, did not directly sponsor this video, but they did send us the Topple Extra Large for us to review and try out. Um, so if you're interested in this product or any of the enrichment toys, check out our affiliate link below. So Olaf has been using the topple since the very beginning. Um, ever since he was little, he's had the large size and the small size. Um, just for a size comparison, you can tell that the large is um, quite a bit smaller than the extra large size. And then the small size is pretty small. Um, let's do a comparison against Olaf's snout. Um, you can see that the small is way smaller than his snout. It like fits on the top of his nose. And then this uh, large size is basically the size of his snout, so it can fit right in. Um, so when Olaf was younger, he was eating mostly kibble. And we wouldn't do this thing where we would interlock the two and put the kibble in um, just because Olaf struggled to pull these apart. But that is definitely one option you can do with these topples where you can interlock uh, two different sizes so that the dry food can spill out and your pup can bop it around or they can squeeze it to get it out. Um, but Olaf for the most part has been eating fresh food and with fresh food it wouldn't always fit in these smaller topples. So uh, depending on the brand, if it's more uh, mushy you can probably press it down to get all in there. Um, but for the most part we would have to use two topples plus maybe a lick mat to get all of Olaf's food in. And what we do is that we would put the food in and then put it on a bowl and that way it stays here and Olaf can happily lick away at his food. Um, so we're really excited to have a larger version. Um, it's honestly been a lot less messy compared to these smaller ones. Uh, with the smaller ones, the food has a tendency to spill out so it can get pretty messy. Olaf also likes to pick up the topples and just drop them uh, it's a very good thing that these are made of a bouncy material so it doesn't make a loud sound per se or scratch your floors. But he likes to um, drop it like a ball. Uh, so sometimes things spill out a lot more easier. All right, so let me give you an idea of how much food can actually go in the extra large size. So I'm actually going to fill this extra large topple with Olaf's food, with the actual uh, portion that he gets per meal. And he's still being fed three times a day, so I'll give you a demo of a third of his full day's meal. Honestly, with um, this fresh food, which is from Ollie's, it doesn't fill all the way, even with the smaller size, but we've had other fresh foods where there are more morsel-y pieces and they definitely do not fit in these two topples. So this is great. There is a lot of extra space in this topple. So, uh, what can be really fun too with these topples, especially if there's extra space, is that you can add some fun frozen treats. So for Halloween, we did uh, some frozen treats with uh, yogurt and with bone broth, and they were really uh, fun just to jazz up a regular topple. Um, so as you can see, this is how Olaf's current food would fit in a extra large size. I can show you, just for comparison, how it would look in the smaller topples. And Olaf's being a very good boy and not going towards his food. So let me fill this up. So like I said, if you smash the food down a little bit, you may be able to uh, fit it in, even in just a large size topple, at least for this fresh food. It's a little bit mushier, so it definitely goes in better. But with extra, what I would do is I would fill up the smaller one. As you can see with the topple, there's a little hole here. And this is kind of fun because you can provide an uh, extra treat for your pup to try to pull out. And um, it's, a, I guess, a nice plug to unleash all the yummy goodness that's here. So what we like to use are either meatballs, which you can see here. 
and plug it up here. And uh, weenies. Weenies are a little bit thinner, but they also fit pretty great. We actually use these for our Halloween topple. They kind of look like fingers, so you can use it to plug it up. Great. Sometimes what we do too is that we add freeze-dried or air-dried food into Olaf's food um, because there are little teeth inside the topple and it makes it a little bit more leave it challenging for Olaf to get to it. So if I were to say get some of this air-dried food, put it here, you can also like just shove it in and it makes for a nice surprise. And you can kind of see the teeth here that makes it a little bit harder for your pup to get the food. And there, it's hidden. So yeah, you can see the comparison between the two. Um, obviously there's still some room here with the large size one just because this food's a bit mushier. But again, you have a lot more ample space here. Um, and the teeth still make it pretty challenging for your pup to get the food. So overall, we are very happy with this extra large size version of the topple. Because it makes less of a mess, we rarely even have to use this bowl anymore. Um, we can give you a little demo too. Since Olaf's been such a good boy and not taking his food, I'll uh, give him this. Maybe not have him have the whole thing because it's not actually his meal time. But we'll just give you a demo right now. Olaf, leave it. So not completely mess free, but I've definitely seen messier. So that's it for our review video of the extra large size topple. If you have purchased the extra large size topple, let us know how your experience has been in the comment section below. And as always, if you enjoy this content, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications. Thanks for watching.